Bullying is never fun. It's a cruel and terrible thing. So somebody was trying to bully another person, but they need to sit the fuck down. Someone needs to sit down. Someone needs to take a seat. <clears throat> All right. To catch a squirrel, climb a tree, and act like a nut. So someone was trying to bully someone. They were acting stupid. They were acting foolish. They were acting a little cuckoo. To kill a vegetarian vampire with... You kill a vegetarian vampire with a stake to the heart. So someone needs to sit their ass down because you're not going to give someone what they want. If someone's trying to bully you, they need to sit their ass down because, um, you know, they're not going to get what they expected to get. They had a narrow opportunity to get something done with wide in the reverse. You're not wide open. You're not wide open for business. You're not wide open for negotiation. You're sitting front and center front and pretty, okay? You're a divine femme or masculine. Somebody really thought that they could take advantage of you and they needed to walk away. Somebody really did need to walk away and that came out in the last one. Someone is treating you like a child or they want to treat you like a child. It's like down, do this, do as I say. Like someone wants to treat you like a child. Someone could have like a, you know, a mommy, daddy kink, something like that. Uh, but someone is wanting to treat you like a child. They want you to obey like a child. Do as I say, not as I do kind of thing. It's like somebody wants to um, control you and treat you like a child. They're being very condescending to you. If the ex was good enough, God wouldn't have told me to love my neighbor. You could have a neighbor that was watching and spying something they shouldn't have. You could have a neighbor that's obsessed with you um, or that's watching you. You could have a neighbor that's part, like a maintenance man, like that came out. Like I had a maintenance guy that I was getting the feeling of a maintenance guy um, in my last reading. You could have a neighbor that works with this group of people who is coming against you. And we have a bride or a woman here. So there's a wife. And someone's nervous about something that their wife is going to do. Or nervous about them finding out because there's people talking and gossiping. So there's people talking and gossiping and there's a masculine here who's nervous and sweating about their wife. <clears throat> yeah, someone is really happy here. They're celebrating something. So, you know, someone may have heard um, some sort of news and they're like, oh yes. And the reason I'm saying that is in my last reading... It came out that someone may have heard some news that maybe they thought someone was a prostitute or a hooker or something like that. And so they're like, yes, now's my opportunity. I can take advantage of the situation. Because they saw something they, they weren't supposed to see because they were sticking your nose, their nose in your business. And they could have misinterpreted some sort of information. Whether this was you having sexy time with a date, um, you know, your boyfriend, whatever. Um, somebody was being nosy and in your business. And somebody was really happy when they thought or because they think that you're a whore, but they don't want their wife to find out that they want to screw you, okay, they don't want their spouse to find out that they want to be with you, and sleep with you, and, you know, that they're probably into prostitutes, so this is like wishful thinking, this is someone fantasizing about you, this could be your neighbor, a maintenance guy, um, then we have an old married couple, so we have an older married couple here, <clears throat> that were watching you and it came out in my last reading that there was a married couple and there was someone um the masculine was fantasizing about a divine femme and doing some dirty things to this person possibly treating them like a whore this is like the kind of person if someone wants to treat you like a dog like an animal like down obey me like someone may want to put a leash and a collar on you like someone may have some sort of domination kink you know that's their shit but that's their shit. This is your, sh like, this is someone who's trying to project their shit onto you. Oh, someone was speaking the truth, or they didn't want to hear the truth, or they thought they got some sort of truth. So some sort of truth was spoken, but someone was pissed off. So maybe somebody, this, this person didn't want to see the truth. Like this married couple did not want to see the truth and they were pissed off. So it's like they refused to accept the fact that maybe you weren't a whore. So then they saw something and they're like, oh, see this person, like you could have lived in a location for like a whole year. <clears throat> Never had anyone come over. Maybe you had a date, okay? Maybe you just got back into the dating scene or had company over or something. And you know, they saw you like kissing out in the yard or something like that. These motherfuckers are like, I knew what I told you, this person was a whore. Like they refused to accept the truth. 
this dude got all excited in his pants and he's been thinking of every which way that he can pay you or proposition you and it's like i knew it i knew this i knew this divine femme was like gonna get down on her knees for me one day like i just knew it oh, someone wants to partner up with you because they don't want to be married anymore but they don't want their wife to find out about this it's like, whoa, 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 like my wife's not doing it for me. I want to partner up with you. What can you do for me? Can you meet my needs? How much is it going to cost kind of shit? And that's not how you fucking roll. Oh, my God. I knew it. I told you. I knew it. I was feeling it in the last reading. I'm kind of glad for the confirmation, but it's like, there was something painful, okay? So, like, this person, you know, this married couple was very disgusted. They didn't want to see the truth. They were disgusted by you. They had all these nasty things, that, like, thoughts in their head about you. So they tried to hurt you. And you have this motherfucker who wants to come and do you something dirty, okay? Like, they're getting ready, combing their hair. Like, they have every intention of hurting you for their benefit. So we have two masculines here in the reverse and in a tower moment. So once again, this just confirms what I said in my last reading where one of them is your ex and one of them is married to a couple who's part of a group that was sent to terrorize you and both of these masculines are wanting to do something awful dirty to you. One wants to make sure that you don't live through whatever they intend to do to you once they get done with you. So that's where we're at so far. There's a lot of shit going on, but I feel like this is confirmation of where we kind of like left off. <clears throat> or, you know, like further in depth information of what I was picking up on in the last reading. It's like this person wants to do you something awful. Someone was watching you, like maybe this neighbor was spying on you for this married couple. And, and they reported something back to them. And then they're like, I knew it. I knew this bitch was a whore. I can't wait to get them like down on their knees. Challenges. Make a decision. Work on inner healing. So someone chose not to work on inner healing. They, they chose the, you know, the hard way in a situation. They chose not to heal themselves. They chose to give in to their darkness to continue to try to hurt a divine femme. <clears throat> And you have two emperors, two masculines and the reverse here, two tyrant pieces of shit that have these really bad plans for you. Give it time, everything in divine timing, let things flow. So even though it's hard at this time to just be patient and let things go, something is going to work out in your favor in divine timing. <clears throat> your heart was not open. It will help you attract more love. Open up your heart. Someone wanted you to open your heart to them. But not because they wanted to heal something with you. But because they had these dark intentions for you. And they needed you to be open and willing to accept them. So that they could get down and dirty with you in whichever way this is. There's two masculines here in the reverse. And they both had bad intentions. So both of you, both of them needed you to open up your heart. Or be willing to um, lower your standards and get down and dirty with them so they could do you something kind of awful. And one of them wanted to make sure you, like I said, I, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but one of them wanted to make sure you didn't live through it once they were done with you. Because that's what they get off on. Something is going to be revealed to you, or you're going to reveal something. Something is going to be revealed. Adaption, change, maybe that you changed, where someone could be coming to you and trying to say that they changed or that they've adapted. They're willing to meet you on your level. I feel like neither one of these masculines will ever be on your level. But there's going to be a big reveal <clears throat> that's going to force a change. So someone is going to be forced to change in a situation whether they want to or not. And I don't feel like it's you. But something that's going to be revealed. Someone could be showing their hand. Power. You hold the power. Virgo could be significant. <clears throat> so it could be revealed that you are very powerful. You're a powerful being. That you hold the power. And this is going to force someone to change. Whether they want to or not. They didn't want to collaborate and work with you. They wanted to work against you. And they can't rest. 
Okay, it's like they don't want you to work with them. They just want to use you and abuse you. Like they have no intention of working with you, and they should have. Maybe, maybe they feel like they could have gotten closer to you and gotten more out of you if they would have chosen to work with you. But because someone chose to work with somebody else or collaborate with somebody else, this person has not been able to rest, or this group has not been able to rest because they decided to work together against you. <clears throat> so something was sent back to them. Someone's in a bad mood. I might as well exercise them in a bad mood. So someone was in pissy. Maybe it's because they got turned down or got denied. Or because something didn't work out according to the way they had it planned out. They were wasting their time. Feel free to waste my time. So someone was wasting their time. They're in a bad mood because they didn't get what they wanted. They were wasting their time. If they came towards you and tried to proposition you, you shut that shit down. Or you didn't take the bait. Someone tried to trap you up set you up for some bullshit trap. This could have been through email, text, you know, DMs, IMs, whatever. That would be the person I feel like that was, you know, that's married and wanting to, you know, wanting more than they should. The one that was probably having the maintenance man spy on you. The one that's probably connected to the shady ass real estate biatch. Um, yeah, we have someone who's partnered up, someone who wants to partner up. There is a partnership. Someone feels like they would be happy in a partnership with you. But someone was wasting their time. <laughs> yeah, you showed someone. <laughs> Maturity is overrated. So if somebody wanted to partner up with you and finally decide to work with you, obviously for their own personal benefit, you're like, eh. Yeah, some they one of them had something up their sleeve, okay? So this masculine, um, you know, they decided to be immature. They acted like they wanted to partner up with you, but it was to do something dirty. They had some bad intentions. You see I'm winking there. This person feels like they were trapped in a shitty situation, being suffocated. They were trying to escape. They were trying to keep you trapped in a shitty situation, possibly through blackmail, extortion. <clears throat> this masculine wants to do dirty, dirty, dirty things to you. They want to put you on a leash and chain. They want to walk you around. They want... I don't know if they're in... I don't want to go there. Oh. So you may be taking life one day at a time. Take life one cup at a time because you know everything is in divine timing so there's not much you can do about shit anyway. And when you try to break free from something, you know, the divine is like, nope, not yet. You got to stay a little longer, even if you don't want to. So maybe you don't understand why. Maybe you don't fucking want to. But <clears throat> there's a reason. Somebody was not a superhero. Someone was not trying to help you. Someone wanted you to look at them like that. So it's like maybe someone wanted to dress up as a superhero and save Lois Lane and then you um, give them a happy ending afterwards. But something, this person was stopped dead in their tracks. They're wearing themselves out watching you. Especially your social media. If they're watching you on social media, on the internet, like they're exhausted. They're tired. They may need a nap. Because they were stopped out on their tracks. Like, they keep trying. They're trying to figure out every which way to get close to you so that they can fulfill some sort of desire. Whatever their wife is doing for them, it's not doing it for them. Like, they want something from you specifically. Like, to the point of obsession. It's really sick. But you also have... That's not even your ex. This is just someone you haven't even been with yet. So you got this crazy ass motherfucker and then your legit ass crazy ass motherfucker ex. Okay, so one that like really wants to do the worst of the worst. I'm not lazy, I'm motivationally challenged. So, I mean, this person couldn't have kept up with you if they tried, they were lazy. Um, they were oogling after you. You may have viewed this person as lazy, disgusting, unmotivated. Like, they didn't strike your fancy. Okay. But they wanted to sleep with you and, you know, 
they were involved with someone, they, they could have wanted some little menage a trois action, you know? So they could have wanted a threesome. <clears throat> they could have wanted you to have a threesome with them and, you know. Oh, someone's got their hand out. They feel like maybe you have your hand out, so maybe they think if they offer you some money and pay you, I'm telling you, their wife isn't cutting it at home. Susie Homemaker, the domestic thing, this person wants to be catered to, um, and they want to be serviced by two feminines. I see what I see. I can't help it. That's, that's the imagery I'm getting here. If loving food is wrong, I don't want to be right. This person thinks that you love money so much. If they throw a few bucks your way or offer to do something for you, like fix something for you, um, I don't know, like a furnace or like maybe main, I keep thinking the maintenance, the maintenance guy, it keeps sticking out in my head for some reason. Um, so like home repairs, something like that. Like someone really thinks that, um, if they just do something for you, you'll just like spread your legs for them and like they can get what they want with the littlest effort possible because they're a slimy skis ball. So normal people scare me. There could be a, um, a couple people who's actually scared because you said fuck off. You said no. You turned them down. And this drove someone crazy. Someone was losing their shit because something didn't work out the way they thought it was going to. And, I mean, they tried every which way. They tried catfishing you. They used different emails, different profiles. Um, you know, if you're a reader... <clears throat> They could have created a fake profile and got a reading from you. Done all kinds of crazy shit. Um, they were trying to catfish you so you wouldn't know that they were coming at you like as a different sex. So they could have tried coming at you as a female, even though they're a male. Like, it's just... And they thought that you didn't fucking know. Like, that's the funny thing is they thought you didn't know. Like, what do they think this is? Like, a joke? Like, they, you know... We have a witchy energy here who might start um, to be seeing through an illusion that someone created about you or that is creating an illusion. So we have a witchy energy here who's creating some sort of illusion that could be some sort of spell work. But this person, someone here didn't want to go through a transformation. Someone didn't change. Someone didn't graduate from empress to high priestess. This is a wannabe. So this is a wannabe witch. Who encountered some barriers in a partnership? So someone has partnered up with a wannabe witch, a wannabe practitioner. You have Ace of Cups here. So someone is starting to see through the illusion, and this could be someone's wife, spouse, who's starting to see through the illusion that someone wants to come towards you and make you a love offer, and they're not happy in their situation. And, you know, they've been experiencing some bad luck ever since they made this partnership with this other person. And this person may be thinking they might, some ha they might have some better luck with the Divine Femme, This could even be your ex who's partnered up with someone. It might not even be this mate. I mean, I'm telling you, there's like two different dudes here. And, you know, it's going to get kind of confusing and kind of crazy because you have one who's got a spouse and you have another one who may be in a relationship with this witchy witch bitch. So, um, and they're all connected. They all know each other. That's very clear, but keeping them all straight, I apologize if I get it get it twisted a little bit because they are all very connected and that's just energy as they are all very connected and they know each other they're all buddies so it may be a little difficult to keep the energy separate but this witchy energy may be connected to your ex and know that your ex wants to come towards you and make you this ace of cups offer because they chose the wrong witch, witch bitch um but that witch bitch is connected to I don't know, whatever like, crazy ass landlord bitch situation you're going to and the crazy, their husband that wants to fuck you, whatever the situation is. There's something very shocking here. Someone could be very shocked to find out. You could even be shocked out to find out who wants to come make you this offer. You may not even know who's obsessed with you, but someone is obsessed with you. Like, bad, bad. Maybe you don't know them. Maybe you've just seen their face. Maybe you don't even know their name. Show, but they know more about you than you would like them to let me assure you they probably planted shit in your house and watched you so if they watched you have sexy time with someone else when they had no business watching you have sexy time with someone else that just made it worse like that just 
Like, maybe they've been watching you obsessively, like, see what you do day to day. And you haven't done shit. And then all of a sudden, it's like they struck gold and they saw you getting down and dirty, kinky. Maybe even just regular fun sex. Whatever. They saw something they shouldn't have. And now they can't let it go. Like, they cannot let this go. This obsession, this fantasy. <clears throat> but you also have your ex here who may be watching the same shit. So, I'm telling you, it's all connected somehow. It's all connected. I'm getting blurred lines from Robin Thicke. Like, someone... You know, maybe you appear like you're a good girl, but maybe behind closed doors, like, you know... They may have been surprised to see what went on behind closed doors with you during your intimate times. And it's like, you know, they want to take that good girl and, you know, I know you want it. I know you need it. Like, this person really just wants to, like, own your ass, like, for a day, for a night, I don't know, 24 hours. This person just wants to do everything and anything to you. It's kind of, it's just... I gotta take a minute. It's not funny. It's not. It's really, it's not. But, like, just the image of, like, this person, like, it's so wishful thinking. Like, this person doesn't have a shot in hell with you. I feel like they don't anyway. I don't know. Yeah, we have players gonna play King of Wands in the reverse. Someone who's just a whore. They're the whore. See, the, they're projecting their fantasies onto you. <clears throat> this could be your ex or the maintenance dude or somebody. Who knows? I don't know. But they're a whore. They want to do anything and everything to you. <clears throat> judgment has been called. They're under judgment. Sorry, this weather going back and forth has me clearing my throat a lot. Yeah, if someone didn't get the message. A king of wands sent a message. They want to partner up with you. Um, someone's union is under judgment. So judgment has been called. So someone they're in a partnership with could have called judgment on their ass because they sent a message to you or tried to communicate to you and they may have gotten caught. Ace of Swords, a lie. Something didn't go in this Ace, uh, you know, this King's favor, okay? This is a hard no. This is a hard no. It does not get any much of a no. This is yes, this is no. This is a hard no for this King of Wands. So this was a definite hell to the no, no, no. Hell to the no, no, no. Hell no, 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 no. <laughs> Justice needs to be balanced out. Someone broke some spiritual laws, some karmic laws. This person was trying to figure out every which way to get to do you something. So they were trying to wreak havoc around your house, <clears throat> around your home. Uh, so they broke a lot of laws. Plus, they were probably married or in a relationship on top of it. Someone made you a slippery offer to with your work. I told you, if you're a tarot reader, they came towards you and asked you for like a reading or something. They catfished you, used a different gender and everything. Someone came towards you with uh, some slippery shit here regarding your work. And justice has to be balanced out because you don't fuck around when it comes to your work. You didn't even have to say shit. You don't have to. If you engage in their bullshit, you're just... You know, so you probably just ignored it and just let it go and didn't say shit because that's not how you roll. But you take your you take your shit seriously. You take your work seriously. And so you don't play about your work. And someone tried to use your work, use your email to do some shady shit. Both of these motherfuckers, king and queen of cups. Ah, so both of these bitches are catfishing you, these mentally, this mentally unstable couple, and your crazy ass whore of an ex. My goodness gracious. What is it? Are they both married now or in a relationship? What the fuck? 
So you have a ten of pentacles. You want it, or they got it. You got wait. You got it. They want it. That's what I'm trying to say. So you could be working really hard on your, you know, financial security, your stability. Like I said, you take your work seriously. You're working on building something long lasting. These two here are coming at you with some bullshit. And then we got this king of wands that betrayed the queen of wands. What the fuck? With, that's trying to betray this person with the fucking high priestess. You're the high priestess here. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You're the real one. You're the high priestess here. So then you have the king of wands that was in the reverse that traveled towards you to betray the queen of wands. So it's like you got two of these motherfuckers trying to cheat on their wives with you. What the fuck? Or maybe because you fucked one married man, this other one thought that they, they had a shot with you. I don't know, but you had two married dudes, and one of them betrayed their wife with you, whether you knew they were married or not. So then this other motherfucker over here thought they had a shot. This, this mentally unstable couple here, this king and queen of wands, this, they could be business owners, but they tried to affect your work. They tried to use your work to sneak in and do some bullshit, catfish you to set you up. King and Queen of Cups here is trying to set your ass up. King of Wands is just looking to get their dick wet. Okay? But they cheated on their spouse with the High Priestess, whether you knew this or not. None of my business. I don't, I don't care that much. But this motherfucker here... This King of Cups saw you hooking up with the King of Wands, and they're like, whoa, 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 you are a whore after all. Ahem, no, 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 no. You misunderstood, but because this person chose to stick their nose in your business, um, they only disappointed themselves, to be honest, but... So, I'm, I'm glad, I love it when my cards clarify for me, because this is like... It, even though I can see it in my head, it's easier when it's kind of laid out. And I'm actually kind of surprised at how well it's flowing <laughs> to make sense about who's doing what. Because this is a mess. This, this is truly a mess. So whether you knew the King of Wands was married or not, that's, you know, whatever. But this King and Queen of Cups was up in your business spying on you. And this King of Cups wants some good good too. And he already knows or thinks that you don't care about messing around with a married man. So this person thinks that, um, you know, you're going to, you know, open your legs for them and do some little, you know, play play with them. Maybe if they scratch your back, you'll scratch theirs kind of thing. But you could have already turned them down or this is yet to come. For some of you, this person may not have shot their shot yet. You know, you healed from heartbreak. Like, you can't... This can also be, a, yeah, okay, so you're strong, so you healed. Okay, sometimes in the up, upright, this is an omen of what is yet to come, like an omen of heartbreak, sorrow, loss, rejection. But you're a strong motherfucker, so this is you being healed. You're healed. You're all better, okay? You, you know, you're strong. You're good. Leo could be significant as well. <clears throat> you're healed. You don't just do whatever with whomever it may have even taken you that long to hook up with the king of wands and maybe you were just trying to get back in the game and like i said maybe you didn't know the motherfucker was married okay if this king and queen of cups would get out your business they probably investigated and ran a background check on this motherfucker and you didn't even know it i don't know <laughs> Oh, maybe it was your ex. Maybe your ex came over for a little visit and you had a little bum bum session and you didn't know the motherfucker slipped off and got married because they were hiding that from you. I don't know. I don't want to know. I don't want to get that deep into it. Whatever seed you're planting or starting to show off, it's growing for you financially. It's it's good. It's all in the hood. It's good, good. You got the good, good. And justice is being balanced out, okay? Like, you didn't intentionally go around trying to hurt anyone. You're minding your business. You're taking care of yourself. You're healing. Whatever happened in your home behind closed doors was healing for you. That's all that needs to be said. No matter what was done, it was healing for you. Someone is just pissed off they didn't get this ton of pentacles that you have. 
or that you're going to get or that you're trying to achieve. Someone was trying to steal a significant amount of money from you. Which goes along with that last reading I did with the resources, somebody was trying to bleed you for everything that you have. And if they can use sex and they think you're a prostitute and you'll open the door for them to get a little dick, then they can rob you blind, figure out what, you know, what you got going on, where your stuff's located, how they can get in, scope out the place, like legit scope out the place, like I'm seeing someone like scoping out where they wanted to. But you're manifesting... So you're manifesting balance being restored in your life and situation. Unfortunately, everything's in the divine timing, and we don't always know when that is. But you're very gifted and talented, and someone was an unofficial person. They abused their power, and they're not happy in their relationship, and that's not your problem. So there's a teacher, advisor, there's a spiritualist here, someone, fake preacher, prophet, whatever, who's not happy in the situation they ended up in, and that's not your fucking problem. There's a split up of a home here with someone... You know, and it could have been that witch bitch, okay? The witchy bitch could be, you know, the um, hierophant in the reverse. But someone's marriage splitting up is not your fault. You didn't tell someone to go cheat on their spouse. You didn't tell any of these motherfuckers to show up at your door per se. Maybe you did. I don't know. Maybe you told one of them to. But someone rushed in with some sort of lie, so it's on them. Whoever this hierophant is that lied, that's their fault. If their marriage split up, if their Ten of Cups split up, if they lost their family, that's not your fault. There's a group here scrambling to do something. They're scrambling. They're trying to figure out what the fuck to do. They're communicating. How do we do this? What do we do now? They could still be trying to plot and plan something. This Mercury retrograde, the past comes back for a time. This is like energy I know I've read before. And it's like a lot of you at that time when I read this energy were like, God, I thought this shit was done and over with. Well, motherfucker, I'm sorry. And I, I don't mean to call you collector motherfuckers, but God, this energy sucks. It's frustrating. Because you had a whole group, eight of wands, in the reverse, that lied, that was lied to, that were lying about you. Like, they were out to get you with a vengeance. I said something about trigger warning a gang something being a possibility. There may have been up to eight people here wanting to stand in line to do something dirty and awful to you uh, before you met your final ending. Because I'm laughing. But some of this shit is not funny. This is legit stuff to the point where someone wanted you to be um, essayed to death and tortured and in fear. Someone wanted to see the fear in your eyes every chance. Like every time some, they switched people, like, oh my god, I don't want to go there. I, I'm not going there. Someone wanted to see the fear in your eyes. Like, yeah. Okay, but you have a positive outcome. You're in a new cycle. You're in a new cycle. You're going in a new cycle. And you have a positive outcome with this. This group is not going to get the chance to do their nasty shit to you. These group of fucking thug-ass, nasty-ass, punk-ass bitches. You're not a fucking whore. <clears throat> There's a pause here. So, you know, something may be frozen for a minute. But you're going to get this restful period. So it may seem like it's taking forever, but... There's a pause here, but you're going to get here. You're going to get to that restful period after a sorrowful time. It's like you've been waiting on this for a long time, and you sure as fuck thought this shit was over and done with. And, of course, it's coming back to reopen that scab again, reopen those old wounds. You know, your ex is a sadistic motherfucker, and he got his crew, his maintenance dudes. He's got a whole p group of people here, <clears throat> a bunch of drug-dealing fucking traffickers. <clears throat> who want me to shut the fuck up and they want to you know maybe you spoke out they don't like the fact that you ran your mouth and they want to fill your mouth and it's not with anything good I, I mean that's just the truth that's just the fucking truth the nasty god awful truth So you had to heal from a heartbreak, financial instability, or somebody did. So there was a heartbreaking situation with your financial stability. It's like maybe every time you turned around, your finances were getting affected, or somebody was trying to affect your financial stability, and you couldn't get away from this shit. Oh, you have this karmic, karmic person here. Mm -mm. 
Who wants to leave someone out in the cold and come offer you some flowers? Are you fucking kidding me? Really? Since when? They want to offer you some help. They want to offer you a, a hand. No, don't take it. You know what they're going to do to you if you take that fucking dirty ass hand? They'll cut your fucking hand off and jack off with it. That's what they'll fucking do with it. Right in front of you. And watch you. Like, watch your eyes. Well, that's how... That's the sick shit. That's the kind of sick shit this person wants to do to you. That's how nasty this person is. Like, this person is sick. If you take that hand, you take those flowers, you're screwed. That much I can tell you. Do not take this person's help. Do not. They want you. They've been affecting your financial stability. They keep causing you heartbreak. They want you in pain. They want you suffering so that you have no other choice but to be with them. To take their fucking flowers so that they can get you back to their house. And then you're never seen or heard from again. Because they've had enough of you. They've had enough about obsessing and fantasizing about what they want to do to you. And they may have missed their chance the first time you lived together if you lived under the same roof as this person. But they're not going to miss again. This is someone that you were in a relationship with. Okay, this isn't the maintenance dude. This is someone that you were already in a relationship with. That's this sick motherfucker. Thank you for the clarification. Or confirmation, because that's what I was feeling, but, you know, it's good to know you're on the right track. Uh, yep, someone's in despair. This person's in despair. They know they fucked up. They're not... Uh, they know they're not going to get the chance. Or they're going to in the near future. This is now near future energy. Someone you were in a relationship with, a two of cups situation with... They're in despair because you have this new start, this new beginning, and you're going to receive this happy communication. And this has to do with you moving, traveling. <clears throat> this person that you were in a relationship with was in their King of Swords energy. They were a liar. They were dishonest. They were cold-hearted. They were a vampire. They could literally be a vampire. Okay, I'm going to say that. I, I don't always feel that. Just because I pick up the King of Swords, just because it's vampire in my Fantastical Creatures tarot cards... But they could legitimately be a vamp with the sadistic shit they want to do to you. They could be a serious vampire. I mean, this this motherfucker may have like vials of blood or something like in their hidden places. They like their meat so raw that it's disgusting. Like I don't even know if tartar like would be good enough for this person. Like I don't know. I feel like they just like it like all completely weird it's sick 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 whether and it could just be a vampire attachment entity or deity or something that's attached to them or they could literally be a practicing vampire someone who is you know something has completely taken over this person or both you know what i'm saying like this person is not i mean they're mortal but they're not human they think that they're immortal whatever's attached to them is you know immortal if they're if they have attachment and attachment but um, <clears throat> yeah, this person was watching, they've been watching you, they could have been being watched as well. You may not have heard from this person, so that's why you thought that this was over, and you know you had good reason to think this shit was over. Any normal person, any sane person, would know that it's over, but they're obsessed with you, they're obsessed with the star, your divine protection, they cannot stop. And this person is evil. This person is really evil, and you're a high priestess, and you are a star, and you have divine protection, and they're obsessed with you. They're watching you obsessively. This is the word obsessively, and they're evil with dark intentions. <clears throat> they never forgot what they wanted to do to you. And they don't want you to forget. They don't want you to forget they're still around. They want you to know <laughs> that you cut them off. If you did a cord cutting, if they have no access to your energy, they can't stand that shit. They need you to feel their energy so that they can connect to yours. They're craving it so bad that I'm just getting this urge of desperation. 
and you know um they have these other sick urges that they um want to fulfill and you are the person they want to do it to pay attention to your dreams children are involved someone could be using your children <clears throat> to stay attached to you you could have children with this person or this person could be um you know obsessed with your children and maybe not you this person could also maybe use your children to try to get at you this person really is sick this person could have lost their spiritual gifts somebody lost their spiritual gifts you will miraculously recover, believe it or not. After all the trauma, all the bullshit you've gone through, somehow you will miraculously recover from this. Someone is getting released from jail, so this person could be arrested at some point. Or this could be you getting set free from a mental, physical, emotional jail that they tried to keep you trapped in. Someone's gaslighting you. They want you to believe that everything that's happened is your fault, that you're crazy, that you're just imagining things. They may even tell you you need to go get therapy. <clears throat> but someone doesn't know they're being watched. And this could be you. Because someone's obsessively watching you, your ex. They're obsessively watching you and your kids. Also, they may be being watched. Because they were guilty. They say they gave up their player ways. No, they didn't. The king and queen, the king of wands giving up their player ways? No, they didn't. What the fuck? No. They're guilty. They lied. So they're going to come to you, offer you some flowers, make you feel like everything was your fault. Um, you know, they had to move on with their life because you just didn't believe them. You didn't love them enough. Same bullshit, different day. They didn't change. They're still lying. If they're in their king of swords energy. They're lying through their fucking vampire ass teeth. They want your blood, and I'm not saying that as a joke. They want your blood. This isn't fucking Vampire Diaries. I don't know, i never even seen Vampire Diaries. I was just led to say this isn't fucking Vampire Diaries. I don't know, I never watched it. I don't know what that, I know, obviously, vampires in the name. But it's not fucking Vampire Diaries. This isn't sexy shit. This is disturbing shit. Stalker alert! And they tried to unalive you for real in the past. They're still going to try. <clears throat> Thank God I'm an atheist. They're hiding their true personality. And they've hired someone to spy on you. I told you. The king and queen of cups. The, the married couple. The main dude. This group of people who want to do you something dirty. <clears throat> they want me to shut up. <laughs> but you have divine protection. Somehow, some way, you are the star in the upright. You have divine protection. And, you know. They could have gotten to your siblings. Your siblings could have been involved in this somehow. Oh, man. Your siblings could have known about someone trying to unalive you for real. Or they took part in this. You may have a brother or sister that you've never met or you don't even know. I'm being led to say that. Some of you don't even know about our brother or sister that's involved in this because you've never met them. That's not for everybody. But some of you have um, someone that you've never met. You're related to them by blood. And uh, they either tried to unalive you or they know something about this. And you don't know. They might know about you, but you don't know that they exist. So... Um, I don't know, you may be blocked off from your siblings, I blocked you or you blocked me. So maybe this person was your friend, or maybe this person tried to approach you as like a friend or something, you decided to focus on yourself. This person was trying to mess with your instincts. And they're not, they never apologize, <clears throat> they always think they're right. You have a sibling that's a dark witch or a warlock. And they could have gotten pregnant by your ex or faked a pregnancy. Or it could be like someone who wanted to have like a sister wife thing. I told you someone wanted like a threesome situation. So even if it's not your legit sibling, um, you know, and like I said, that part's not for everybody. Even if it's not like a legit sibling, this is someone that someone wanted you to be like a sister wife or some crazy shit with. Um, 
you know, and they tried to come in and, like, maybe be friends with you, or, you know, they wanted, like, all three of you to live in the same house together, and this person either got pregnant or faked a pregnancy, something like that. I don't know. Um, let's pull some letters. <clears throat> oh, wait. Yeah. I'll go ahead and pull some letters, and I might pull a couple more cards here. N could be a significant person, place, or thing. I didn't do my other two stacks. At E. Northeast could be significant. <clears throat> New England. New Hampshire. H. C. Oh, my phone's getting hot. It's going to cut off. <clears throat> 